My name is David Raleigh. I'm a singer, songwriter, piano player from New York City. But today, I find myself on one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, Panama City Beach, Florida. We're here at Schooners, known as the last local beach club. Let's go inside. There's a band playing named Stainless Steel. They're amazing. Let's check them out. Stainless Steel. We're speaking to Mr. John Cannon and Mr. Brian Whitley. How are you guys doing? Great. Great. These guys are local guys. Um, you've known each other forever. Can first of all, just tell us a little bit about how you guys got together, how you met, how you started playing music. Sure. Brian and I have known each other for a long time. Uh, met in junior high school. Uh, went to high school uh, together, graduated the same year, and uh, got involved with music through our high school years, uh, mainly through our band director uh, in uh, junior high and high school. And um, you know, played together in a larger group um, as young adults, and then, you know, about 95 we split off and did our duo thing, and we've just been, you know, enjoying things and playing together since. Now, did you play the steel drum in, in high school? I started in 12th grade, yeah. He got us going and bought a, my own instrument, stuck with it a little bit, and then here we are. Yeah, it's a handmade instrument from a 55-gallon oil barrel. Um, it's very labor-intensive. I actually Helped a buddy of mine make some for a couple of years. Um, hand hammered, kind of plays like a scrambled up xylophone. It's another mallet instrument, just in a circular pattern. I know you sing a lot of beat songs. You sing um, the Eagles and yeah, Jimmy Buffett, Buffett, and, Buffett, Buffett, Buffett. But I've I've heard rumor has it that you're an amazing R&B singer. <laughs> I've heard I've heard from people in the know that um, he's an amazing R&B singer. So. Is that something you enjoy? Is it something you throw into your, your shows, or is it pretty much... You know what I like is people come to expect a certain sort of genre when they come to hear the steel drums, and you, you know, you'll hear a lot of Buffett and Eagles and all the traditional beat stuff and things that you just said, but what I like doing is throwing curveballs at people and, and throwing them things they don't necessarily expect to hear, just to keep people interested and happy and, you know, kind of mix it up. Come on, Great talking to you guys. Thanks so much for being here, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing the music, and thank you for watching, and see you down at Schooners. Don't lay in the hot sun, oh, big fat one. Got my guitar and play.